Hi everyone, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. I hope you're healthy and doing well. On this channel, we cover the news, facts, and sentiments about the crypto market. We also interview a lot of the people who are building and investing in the market, such as founders, CEOs, investors. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, the world around us is changing very rapidly. We are seeing the current pandemic situation, the economic downturn is really catapulting the movement of crypto currencies and digital currencies, all leading us to the token economy, right? Um, you know, I some people believe, and I'm not on that boat, right, of conspiracy theory that this whole pandemic was created by the government uh, to usher in a new world order and or whatever it may be. Now, there, there's, there could be some validity to that, right? I'm not completely saying that that's out of the question. I, I personally don't believe the government's created this pandemic situation, but they are using it to their advantage, right? They are using it such as things that may come up with wars and, and maybe terrorist attacks, whatever it may be, you know, global events that really shake the world and usher in kind of a, a, a okay, let's do things differently, right? And I believe um, we are seeing the call for all the governments around the world and central banks to build their digital currencies, usher us in, usher us in oh, ushering us into the token economy. And uh, uh, crypto is going to be a big part of that because crypto was the spark that got all of these world governments to say, wait a minute, we're about to lose control here because people are going to opt for other crypto or other forms of currency, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, whatever it may be, right? So you have the Bank of International Settlements talking about digital currencies and CBDCs. We know that here in the United States, the digital dollar is a high priority. You have the former uh, chairman of the CFTC pushing that. Um, we saw in the stimulus bills recently that there was uh, accommodations made for a digital dollar. Uh, we see central banks around the globe are doing experiments on CBDCs. Even smaller countries, guys, smaller islands and so forth are trying to build that out. And you have you know these big uh, world forums and world associations that really control a lot of the banks and, and and work with a lot of governments are pushing the building of central bank digital currencies. Here's the World Economic Forum guide, IMF, designing central bank digital currencies. I mean, you guys see the, the facts here. It's in front of our face pretty clearly, right? And all of that is going to really move us into all everything all digital, right? Paper money is gone transactions all digital i think that is the next layer that that this there, these governments and these world leaders are really pushing us into and once again i'm not being some conspiracy theorist i'm just looking at the facts and what is being put out the narrative the guides the regulations and uh once again cryptocurrency sparked this whole revolution and i think they're using this pandemic as an opportunity to push us forward and we see people who are from traditional uh financial the traditional financial world even other industries are recognizing what's happening the constant printing of money and um, how that is not sustainable and, and many are advising to buy gold silver bitcoin like Robert Kiyosaki, right? A very well-known, successful entrepreneur, author, and so forth. And many others are recognizing what is taking place. So a new world setup, a new monetary system is coming. And this is going to be beneficial for cryptocurrencies because uh, CBDCs validate the crypto asset class because people would say, well, you know, it's not tangible, right? It's not tangible. And, and if you move digital uh, or should I say fiat currency to a digital format in a token format, um, people will start to understand, oh, well, yeah, money can exist in this format as long as the technology behind it verifies it and puts the guardrails, blockchain technology, right? And uh, that will open people's minds and understanding to that. It also builds more interoperability with cryptocurrencies, the, the the ease of exchanges buying and selling in different currencies. And also we see a lot of tokenization taking place, guys. A lot of tokenization of, of real estate, stocks, different assets, commodities. That is the future. So everything will be digital and, and even more global, more interoperability from a global standpoint. So really world changing here. Um, I think a lot of the unbanked, People in poorer countries will become banked now because all you need is a smartphone or just a regular phone, right? So we also see that digital currency, uh, excuse me, smart cities are being built with blockchain technology and using 
tokenization and different cryptos, right? If you guys recall, if you've been subscribed to this channel, we talked about this news like two years ago, uh, where a cryptocurrency millionaire is building a smart city in Nevada near the Tesla and Apple plant, I believe, or some of those big companies are out there, and it's going to be powered by Ethereum. Um, so it is going to be a smart city, guys, and crypto is going to play a big part of that and expect to see these type of cities popping up everywhere or regular cities like New York City start to uh, really integrate this, let's say, into their uh, whole let's say the subway system, right? Any, t any type of smart city where crypto or tokenization is used, where you don't have to use a metro card or some physical token, right? As in times past. Now everything will be digital. It is it is a brand new world. Like I said, I'm not trying to go down that conspiracy rabbit hole here, but I, I and I don't believe the government started this pandemic, but I believe they're using it as they have used crisis and different issues that popped up in the world to their advantage to push a new a, a new movement, a paradigm change taking place, right guys? And um, like I said, crypto is a big part of that in the whole digitization of the world. Um, it is very interesting. And I know some people are like worried about, well, now they can track you with everything. And yeah, that is gonna be a problem, right? But that's where crypto um, does offer kind of the alternative solution, okay, I don't want to use the digital dollar because they, they're going to know how I spend it and what I do with it. Um, you know, I know some people are concerned about that. And I, that's why crypto is just so important at this point, because um, it's going to give an alternative, right? That, okay, I don't want to use a digital dollar. Hey, I'll send you some Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP, right? Rather than send you some digital dollar. So these are things that we have to see how they unfold. But the world is changing. And I hope you guys recognize how big of an impact crypto is having. Um, there's other things changing. I'm not saying it's just crypto and money, but the big part of it is is money and digitization and digital currencies and crypto and blockchain, right? Um, I think just a new, new world is ahead. And I'm glad I'm here early. I'm glad I'm holding uh, the crypto that I am at the low prices that I have. And I, I think it's pretty clear what's taking place here. The token economy is coming. Um, now, guys, we want to wrap it up here with one item. Um, I've added Tezos to my portfolio. I think I've shown you guys that. And through Coinbase, if you guys didn't know, they have a staking service. So I'm currently uh, earning Tezos uh, by just leaving some Tezos on Coinbase, staking it there. Um, I have some of my, you know, my hardware wallet and so and so forth. But um, I'm leaving some on there to stake. And I'm earning. So just so you guys know, you can earn off of that. Just want to, you know, let you guys know what you can use to earn. And I've been getting my free Tezos. So that's, that's uh, you know, really good to earn free crypto there. And finally, guys, I will be interviewing CZ uh, Cheng Peng Zhao next week, the CEO of Binance. We're going to talk about a lot of things, guys. The coin market cap acquisition, the Bitcoin mining pool, the Binance card, and uh, many of the different things that Binance is doing, they seem to be ramping up like crazy. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. And it's a smart move. They probably have a lot of cash on hand. And now is the time to do it when people are distracted, when you can probably get things at a discounted price, right, given the current economic situation. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell enabled. I'm going to be interviewing CZ. Uh, lots of great content coming your way. Like I said, guys. My goal is to get you guys the news, the facts, and the interviews so you can hear from the people who are investing and building. Um, this is not hype. This is not fluff. There's a lot of channels that do that. My goal is to get you real content. So hit that subscribe button, thumbs up. Please share this video if you found it helpful, and I'll talk to you all later.